Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. These nippers just aren't nipping like they used to, so it's time to turn the wheels so I get a nice clean cut. going to tackle the stepping stone and I really want to add some black into the body and get the white bits finished. There's white all over the body and all along the edge. So I, I have this regular black glass that is black and then I have this one that's iridized on one side. So I'm only going to put a little bit of the iridized in because I think it's kind of greenish when that iridized side shines and I really, really want it to be black. I just like the shine of it. It's interesting. So a tiny bit of this, mostly regular black. That's it. St. John. I want to get the banner done with the name. And I'm going out of town, so it's a short week for me. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to cut out this part. That's it. I think I've got it cut out all the way and I can tell because I can lift the mesh up. So now I'm going to pick this up and separate it from the backing. Now I'm going to wrap this portion down here with plastic wrap so that when I put my pieces right up next to it, the two pieces don't stick together. So just to separate the thin set temporarily and then I will remove it.
I have finally reached the point where I can start putting the mosaic on this substrate. And I'm gonna start with the center. Now this flower, when I finished making it, is a little bit elongated. So the center, instead of making it perfectly round, I'm gonna make it a little bit elongated. And I am starting with black epoxy sculpt. I'll mix equal parts A and B for two minutes, and then I will stick it on there and stick my parts in there. So last time, one of the centers that I used was the light green, which I really liked because it had contrast. This time though, I'm going to use uh, the orange here. I have one orange bead. So I'm gonna put that orange one in the middle and then I'm gonna put some browns and I don't know, blacks and sparkly things. I have all these pretties and put on there. So let me get after it. Oh, one last thing. I do have some pretty tiles. I have little black ones and I have these copper streaked vit tiles. So I might use them, I don't know, maybe on the outside part. Let me get after it. time to tackle this sky and I'm going to add a few pieces of mirror in there using silicone as my adhesive.
I'm looking at a piece, I will choose a side that fits better geometrically, but sometimes it's the glass itself. So I'm trying to mix this up a little bit and put some of the variation that's in the glass and highlight that. So I really like this piece because it's got a swirl and it's got some lighter glass. So I'm going to use this piece because I like the white. have to wait till next week but I'm very pleased to have finished piecing it and getting it all together when I put that black grout in here it's going to make a huge difference and I can't wait that's putting it together thanks for watching see you next time